by Rack the Planet and Moo Boots. It's The Loop at the Mammoth Film Festival. I'm Brett, and I'm sitting down with a bunch of guys from Manifest West. We got Milo, Louie, Joe, and Tim. I nailed it, right? That's it. Well, That's sure us. Did. What's up, fellas? How's it going? Welcome to Mammoth Film Fest. Thank you. Thanks. thanks. Excited to be here? We yeah. are. Yeah, thanks for having us. So. Let's talk about Manifest West. Who sure. wants to tell us uh, what it's about? And all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Jump it's in. It's a uh, coming of age story told through the eyes of a 10 year old girl whose family spirals out of control after they move off the grid into untamed North American wilderness. And it kind of examines this family and their inner issues. And it kind of looks at the idea of that no matter how far you move up a mountain, you carry your baggage with you, you can't leave it. Right. Yeah. It's kind of taken, it's like, a, it's a sort of a modern look at this very like American idea of like moving west and finding a new life and going into this unexplored territory. But like in the modern day, does that even make sense anymore? Like, mm -hmm. can you really do that? And let's talk about how this thing came together. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you guys uh, collaborating on yeah. it, I'm sure at the beginning. And yeah. Yeah. This is our, our second movie together. Our first movie was Happy Hunting. That was like a very straight up grindhouse horror movie that we did. And mm -hmm. on this one, we kind of wanted to settle into something a little more serious. Where did the yeah. idea come from? I think it was, it was looking, originally I think it started as looking at a lot of these kind of anti-government standoffs that happened in the 90s and kind of like Ruby Ridge or mm -hmm. things like that. Like what was the story mm -hmm. of those families and what's the human version of that? Like how did normal people get into that situation and eventually end up in this very extreme place? And then I think in thinking about it and sort of workshopping like what does this movie hang up like? What is it, you know? How does it read? I think to us, it made more sense to tell it from the perspective of the kids. Because when you tell that story from the eyes of the parents, it's a very linear story. You're sort of like, they go up to the mountains, they do this, you kind of have to show everything. But the world of a kid is like, your parents are doing stuff all the time that you're not really aware of. Right. You're, you're kind of sensing, but you, you're, you're getting the like, a residual effects of that. So there's a lot more mystery. So in telling that same story through the eyes of the kid, you're, you're seeing the kid sort of at the periphery of this thing, and you're you're inferring that a lot of these dark things are happening off camera. So it let us mm -hmm. kind of skip over a lot of obligatory elements. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we also wanted to, like what he was saying, looking at these um, standoffs in the '90s. You know, it's easy to paint those people as like, oh, they're bad or they're this. We wanted to kind of look at some characters we could humanize and be like, let's understand what they want and why they're there. Maybe they're not bad people. Mm -hmm. That was something too. Well, how about for you, Milo? Like, how do you go about as an actor making them have these layers, and or your character at least, and so they're not just this one-dimensional kind of bad guys or crazy guys yeah. or whatever they would have been labeled back then? Well, one, I'm not going to tell you how you know what I do, but <laughs> two, I, I think I mean it's it's in the writing, right? So these guys spent you know hard you know a lot a long time doing what they do best, and I think they leave it there for you out there, and you have your time to kind of sit there with it and kind of you know see what you can you know see yourself in and kind of just go on there and play on that you know and yeah. as the if film goes along or as you're filming it's you know it's like that tug of war thing like hey you know hey you know all this type of stuff so um but it's easy with with these guys i feel yeah. so I, mean, I think that was what i was going to say that's something i think with yeah, uh, gonna... uh, tim's character too because he plays the the uh, crazy Stock, gun stockpiling neighbor up on the uh -huh. mountain, yeah. and I think it's very easy to make that character <laughs> one guess, way. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, but, I yeah, you. I was right, but how I, you got involved yeah. in the project, and then how you approach your character as well. I mean, I do uh, anything I'm offered. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, I, no, it's funny. It is. Uh, you, there's people out there who like have uh, who are fans of mine, like you guys, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's I guess, us, yeah. or and have me in mind for something and. It doesn't happen a lot, uh, but when it does, it usually means that there's an understanding from their perspective of what I can do or take what I do uh, in a different direction, mm -hmm. you know, take the darkness of my comedy and apply it to a drama. It's not yeah. that much different sometimes. It's just all yeah. about like the levels of it and, and you know, commitment of the character. So I, it's, I was joking, but sometimes it's, tr it's m more true than not that if there's a writer or a director out there who has me in mind, it's usually because you know they're right uh, that I would be good at. It, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I, I don't mean, know. I haven't seen the movie. Yeah. I could be terrible at it. <laughs> He's good. No, yeah, he's no. good. I mean, yeah. I mean, we've been fans of Tim uh, for a long time, and we had this part on the page, and you know, it's always two-dimensional until someone can, like what he was saying, bring it up. But 
what he brought off the page was like he created a whole new thing that it like fit in so well. So we were so thrilled when we reached out and we're like, hey, we don't know if he's gonna want to do it, and he was willing to come up and do it because yeah. you know he's obviously Tim's known like so much for his comedy, but we'd seen him in roles where he can play these dramatic characters, these dark characters, even when it's a dark comedy. Mm -hmm. So we knew we're like he's gonna fuck, you know he's gonna bring yeah. something interesting to this and. Um, yeah, I think it was a, a great different side. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, there, there, there's, there's a couple of scenes that me and Tim have, and an amazing amount of laughs. Oh, yeah. And uncontrollable. I mean, this guy's <laughs> a genius when it comes to that. So, like, I, at points, I was like, I didn't know what to do because he's so good at it. But We I just mean, let we Tim had, riff. We, yeah, I mean, that's like, the other thing. We told you, him, we're like, you, you can riff. Yeah, yeah if, just you, riff. Like, if, if you have a script, uh, it's. I like to hear the like. You know, this is the script, but do it. You know, yeah. make it your own kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is the way to go. Yeah. These days. Unless you're, mm -hmm. you know, the the arrogance of a writer that thinks that their dialogue <laughs> is can't be better yeah. by the input yeah. Let's of an get actor. out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So no, and you let me have fun with it. So. Yeah, no. And that's how you guys like to work with the, that kind of freedom for everybody. Yeah. If you can, yeah, I think it's something that you're open to. I think you know, there, there's scenes that are very technical, and you have yeah. to execute them in that way. And then yeah. there's but some actors yeah. have no interest. In, yeah. you know, yeah, they're like, tell me what you want me to say. Uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. But then there's a scene of Milo and Tim hanging out, drinking, and talking, and like, honestly, why would I, you not see where that scene goes? You yeah. Know? Honestly, I don't even know what we even talked about. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have to watch the film to figure it out. But. Yeah. Uh, but no, I think I think people who directors and writers who let the actor have the freedom, and they're open to being, they're open to having an open mind about being like, oh hey, let's try it like this or let's do it like this. That's when you get something interesting and something cool. Yeah. Not when it's like, no, you have to do this, and it's like, well, yeah. okay, that leaves no fun for me yeah. or Tim or anybody who, who's an actor. Yeah. And like you know, you know. Especially in a movie where you guys have set up, you know. The conditions to kind of be loose about the shooting. I assume mm -hmm. you're, mm -hmm. you know, you're. They're up in the woods. They're, there's a small crew. They can be flexible <clears throat> yeah. and they can, you know, shoot and, and not worry so much about the coverage and stuff. And, mm -hmm. yeah. I, mean, I think something we we come back to a lot is like even if you're making a drama, you got to have some laughs. Yeah. Because if you don't, like, it's I life. think like, it's life and. You can spend a lot of time on screen convincing the audience that they should like someone. Mm -hmm. Like this person did this and that, they're a good person and this. Or you can tell one joke and the audience is like, oh, I like that guy. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I empathize with this, I, I'm in. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, Tim's character in this movie, whether, you know, he's a little like out there, but he's kind of just a normal guy in a lot of ways. And um, he, I, when I watch him, I'm like, yeah, that guy's like a little out there, but I'm like, I would hang out with this guy. He's a fun guy. So like. That's that, that's what you want. Yeah, I think yeah, it's just it, like me in real life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. I mean, I think <laughs> how I I think how we we've, we've talked about it is Milo and his his family are moving up onto this mountain, and they're kind of like an invasive species coming in. The Tim's family's you know this this family like has generation. has lived there for like <laughs> yeah. generations, and right. like they sort of make sense in that environment. So yeah. you know, it's this like thing where Milo's like, oh, I want to be like that guy, but like, he doesn't know how to be like that guy. Yeah. Like yeah. he doesn't have those tools. Yeah. So when he tries to be like that guy, yeah. he can't really. You know, it, it goes over the top. And we also Michael Cutlets, who, who couldn't be here today, is, uh, plays the other neighbor, who's sort of this like person who's moved up there but is well adjusted. Is kind of like doing like the correct version of it. Mm -hmm. Like he's figured it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so any interest in living off the grid for any of you here, like for real? In your lives? No. Sure. At all? No, no, no. I just moved into the woods. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Did. Okay. did? I did. He did. You did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this or were you what, Woodland Hills? Uh, <laughs> Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee? I'm in Tennessee. Oh, right really? Wow. Yeah, and uh, we had been thinking about okay. just kind of, you know, taking the kids out and, and going somewhere for a little bit. And uh, we kind of just, uh, my wife is in the movie uh, who plays. Um, my his wife? wife, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> my, my brother's his wife, wife uh, in real life plays my wife. Annette Mahendra, she wanted to be film. here too, but she's uh, she couldn't come. But uh, yeah, we I don't know. It's kind of funny. It was like this weird thing. We just kind of ended up out in the woods a few months ago, there you go. <laughs> and we're there. there you go. What what does that mean for the kids? With the, you know, you say for the kids, but what do you what does uh, school look like? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is that a t is that a no, 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 there's school. I mean, we're not like way out there. <laughs> right. there's, there's, there's literally a school right on the street. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, congrats on the movie, guys, and like we're all excited to see it. And yeah. Happy that it's here at Mammoth Film Festival. So thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for having so us. For the guys, I'm Brett, and that's the movie.